Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be completely different. We're going to be making an extended mouse mat for the Logitech PowerPlay. If you're like me, one of the biggest complaints I had with the PowerPlay is the fact that it only has a mouse space for your actual mouse. If you're coming from somewhere with an extended mouse mat, coming to this is definitely a shocker. I no longer have any wrist space or any sort of material on the rest of my desk. It's now suddenly only around my mouse mat, which I found a little bit annoying. So one of the big things I wanted to do is look for a solution to solve this. And today I feel like I've finally done it. So before further ado, let's jump right into this. So before doing this, I looked at a lot of different solutions. And one of the big things that I came across was someone on Reddit who used cork board underneath their mouse mats and then put a full extra size mouse mat on top of it. This was something I planned to do for a while until I saw the price of cork board, especially at the size I needed to be able to fit underneath the mouse mats. After measuring the mouse mat, it seemed that it was somewhere between two and three millimeters thick. So after looking up how much cork board was, it totally was not an option for me. So I decided to look at other options. From this point, I then thought, why not try to find a mouse mat that is around two to three millimeters thick, get two of them, stack them, and cut the space out on one of the mouse mats, and then use that for the Logitech power play. And after looking at AliExpress and a couple of other websites, I finally managed to find mouse mats that were around 10 euro each. So picking up two different mouse mats with two designs, I bought both of these and waited for shipping. Once both of the mouse mats arrived, I looked at which one I liked the least, and that was gonna be my sacrificial lamb, and that was the one that was gonna get the chopping block. So as mentioned, I did get my mouse mats on AliExpress. I'll be leaving everything linked in the description down below. And depending on what you wanna do, you can actually get customized mouse mats at this size, and you can even get smaller mouse mats. So for me, I believe the mouse mat size I have is 900 by 300, so 90 centimeters by 30 centimeters, which gives me just enough space to be able to cut out my Logitech power play. So you just need to make sure you have at least a 30 centimeter depth mouse mat, and then you can choose whatever width you want, which is comfortable for you. Currently, I'm using the Mountain Everest Max Pro, so I can take my numpad on and off as I want. So I wanted to have enough space, a little bit extra on my mouse mats to be able to fully extend it here. And overall, I'm really happy with the experience. From this point, all I need to do is get my Logitech power play, sit it on top of the mouse mat I didn't want, and then get a sharp knife and cut around it. And this is where I would definitely recommend putting something behind the mouse mat if you're gonna be doing this, so you don't damage the desk underneath, and try get a knife as sharp as possible. I feel like my knife was not nearly sharp enough for this, and this setup could have been a lot cleaner if I had gotten a more sharp knife. Something like a Stanley knife is definitely a good option here, or if you've got a nice kitchen blade, a really sharp one, that would work really well here too. From this point, you just need to go to town on this and try get the corner and edge around the power play as clean as possible because how cleanly this sits inside it will make your experience a lot better. And that's definitely something that could be improved on my setup looking back. After this point, we simply put everything on our desk. We set our second mouse mat on top and this actually worked out really well. Trying to get a nice snugly fit at all times is a little bit tricky. And depending on how much you move around your hands on your mouse mat or how much wrist drag you have, which for me is quite a bit, I do need to reposition it every day, every couple days to make sure it fits nicely on top. But otherwise it fits really, really well. Now, as you push from the power play across to the mouse mat, there is a small depth difference, but honestly, at least in my opinion, unless you're really pressing down to feel this difference, it's really hard to feel it in day-to-day -day gaming. And this just allows me to be able to flick my wrist a little bit more on my mouse mat. Of course, it will only charge when you're on top of the power play, but it does give you a lot more freedom on top of your mouse mat to be able to move around or to be able to move outside of the position if you need to for whatever's comfortable for you at that time. Now, I do find this to be a little bit expensive. Adding an extra 20 euro to the already expensive power play and then getting rid of all of the existing power play mats is a bit ridiculous and it's definitely a nice to have definitely not a needed but if you are someone that likes an extended mouse mat and does like the option for completely free wireless mice charging i think this is a great option now for me i did leave the logitech hub outside of the mouse mat. Of course, this is something you could cut into if you wanted and could actually nest it down a little bit further. But for me, aesthetically, I don't think I would like it as much. And I actually don't mind that the Logitech logo sticks out a little bit on top of the mouse mat here. I think that adds a little bit to the aesthetic. And I think overall, it looks really cool. So I'll be leaving links to all the products I used in the description down below. As mentioned, the mouse mat is from AliExpress and you can actually get this mouse mat fully customized. There's a lot of predefined patterns and stuff like that. But you can feel free to go with other sellers if you want just to make sure that the thickness of the mouse mat is two to three millimeters. Now, some extra future improvements and suggestions I have for this. Maybe one would be setting this whole thing on a nice leather pad below or something that would allow you to move the whole thing freely. 
Right now, one of the issues I have is sometimes I like to move my whole mouse mat setup back a little bit to make more space for a notebook or something like that. And trying to move this setup at the moment is an absolute no-go. I have to move each piece individually, and currently that's really annoying. So having an extra mat below would be a nice feature for this. It will add an extra bit of thickness to the bottom. So I'll have to play around with that and see how that comes in the future, but that could be a nice option. The second thing could be to stick the top and bottom mouse mat together and the bottom mouse mat could still have the cutout cut out in it. So you can just slide in and out the power play as you want. And now I don't feel comfortable doing this at the moment and I'm not sure what material would hold this well enough for me that I'd feel comfortable doing this. I believe hot glue might be a good option, but it would mean you could never take this apart again, really. So you can never make further adjustments if you want at a later point. Although I'm not really sure what adjustments you would want to make. But for me, I don't really feel like doing that option. But depending on your setup and depending on your needs, that could definitely be another nice option for this as well. But overall, I feel like this is a nice hack if you want to make a Logitech extended power play mat. Like I mentioned, it's been something I've wanted to do for a while. And it was one of my biggest complaints with the full review that I made of this. So it's definitely something I'd recommend checking out and doing if you're looking for something a little bit different or a nice little pet project. And I would definitely recommend doing this. As mentioned, everything is linked in the description down below and anything I can set up as affiliate links, I will set that up. Otherwise, feel free to take anything you want from this. Anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this random video of making a Logitech extended power play. If you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I want to take this moment to give a huge shout out to the channel members, Sean Daly, Joshua Davis and Devante Hunt. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you'd like to have your name shout out in future videos or some other perks, be sure to click the join button or any video on the channel. It would really help me out. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.